Hello, this is Denver Riddle with Color Grading Central, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be covering color balancing, or in other words, color correction. Color correcting is normalizing the colors in the shot so that they are true to their character. When the colors in a shot aren't balanced, the image displays a color cast or a strong dominant color. This could be due to a variety of reasons, stemming from the camera not being white balanced properly to the correct color temperature, or even an unexpected hue reflecting off of an object in the scene. The color tab of the color board will allow us to fix these problems. So let's look at the three images that we're going to be color balancing. The first two you see here are unbalanced as a result of the camera not being set to the correct white balance. We have one with a cool color cast, which was likely due to the camera being balanced to tungsten when actually it should have been balanced to daylight. The second one has a subtle warm color cast, though it's likely that the white balance was only slightly off by a few Kelvin. Nonetheless, it's a little bit warmer than what we want it to be. In the last example, the camera was actually white balanced properly, but we're getting this foreign green cast as a result of the light actually reflecting off the green foliage in the seam. Now just like with setting correct exposure on the set, life happens and we can't always anticipate these things. But as the colorist, we can easily fix these minor color issues. Let's do some color grading. Let's first start with the cool image. We'll begin with balancing the shadows and this is a good starting point. So let's bring up our RGB parade and we'll make the correction using the shadows puck in the color tab. Now just by looking at the image, we can see that the shadows are blue and the RGB parade confirms this as evidenced by the elevated blue channel. Now this is how the color tab works, so pay very close attention. We have two options in performing the correction. We can either pull down on the shadow puck towards blue in the negative area subtracting blue, or we can add blue's complementary color which is yellow by pushing the puck in the positive warm territory. Either way works and there's absolutely no difference. Both will perform the same correction. Just pick the method that works best for you. We'll finesse the correction now by moving the puck left and right until we've balanced all of the channels equally. Hence this is why it's called color balancing. This takes a little practice, but you can get really good at it. On to the highlights. They can be a little trickier to correct, and the key is to find something that's white in the shot. In this case, we'll be using the white paper in the top right hand corner as a reference. You can see it here on the right side of the RGB parade corresponding to the image. While simultaneously looking at the highlights in the RGB parade, we'll move the highlight puck down, subtracting the blue, and then move left to right to finesse the other channels. In many cases, performing just a highlight correction will balance the entire shot and solve most of our problems. This is because color casts due to color temperature deals with the lighting and light affects the highlights, midtones, and shadows in a descending order with the highlights being affected the most and the shadows being affected the least. I hope that this makes sense. Further down the road you'll see how we can use this to our advantage. So a question you might ask is what will we do if there isn't a white reference in the shot? That's a really good question and what you can do is to scrub around the other shots in the scene until you have a white reference. Perform the correction on the shot with the white reference, save that correction, and then apply that correction to the shot where you don't have a white reference. Then from there just eyeball it and make any additional adjustments. Okay, now I make it a point to not let my tutorials run long, so let's move along. Let's quickly fix the subtle imbalance in this warm shot. I'd like to just briefly point out that you can see this imbalance on the vector scope with all the trace gathered towards reddish yellow. We can also use the vector scope to perform a correction by moving the trace closer towards the center of the vector scope where white is. Though I wouldn't suggest using the vector scope for balancing as it's not as accurate as the RGB prayed, it still helps in quickly spotting color casts. In this warm shot, it makes most sense to me to push the complementary color of yellow 
which is blue, into the positive territory. So I'll push the highlights and I'll do a subtle adjustment on the midtones to make sure that my skin tones look good. But there will be more on that in later tutorials. Now on to our last shot. Remember this is the shot with the green cast coming from the green foliage. We'll make this correction with just the highlight puck. It seems most intuitive to me at this point since green is the color we need to get rid of. I'm going to pull down on the green, thus subtracting the green and warming the skin tones back up. And that's it. So simple. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Color balancing for me is the funnest part about doing technical grading. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.